video is going to be a tutorial for the outline matte poster that you might have seen in my room tour video. I really like it because I love finding beauty and shapes in data and structures and I like that I can look at it and see the riverbed or the town square or the path that I ran my half marathon several years ago. Whereas other people might look at it and just see a random map and I think that's kind of special. This could make a really great DIY present for someone if you wanted to make fun of their favourite city. Or you could just make one of your own favourite city to hang on your wall like I have done. For this tutorial here I'm going to be making a poster of my old hometown which is Wellington, New Zealand but obviously you can follow along with whatever city you like. I'm going to be using Adobe Illustrator for this so if you don't have any knowledge of that software I've left a link down below to some 101 tutorials you can watch elsewhere because you will need to know the basics to make this poster. And if you're not interested in learning the software but you still want a map poster then I've put both of the ones that I've designed up for sale in my store in various sizes so you can check that out there'll be a link down below but now let's get into the tutorial. We need to start by getting the street map to trace so for that I head to Google Maps and zoom in on my city so that I can see all of the streets. Take a screenshot and then move over a bit making sure you've got some overlap so you can see some of the streets that you screenshotted before and take another screenshot and just repeat that process until you've got all of the area that you need. Then open up a new Illustrator file. I'm making mine A1 size which is 594 by 841 all of those little details will be down below. Drop the map images in and lower their opacity in the appearance tab. Then you can start lining them up to create one big cohesive map image. When you're happy with the size and placement, create a new layer and send that map to the new layer. Put the opacity back up to 100% now too so that you can see your map clearly. Drag that new layer to the bottom of your layer list and then play around with the arrangement of your map images selecting send to back for all the ones where the Google Maps interface interrupts the streets like I'm doing here. Then lock the layer, save the file and you are ready to start tracing. Select the pen tool and use a one point black stroke with no fill. Then just start drawing over the streets, basically you want to make a point wherever the street has a curve or a turn. Don't worry about being perfect, just follow the basic shape of the street. And it's going to look best if you turn on rounded caps and corners of your stroke, which is this option here. Then just keep going, filling in the rest of the streets. I remembered partway through that turning off smart guides in the view menu is a good idea because when they're on they make your vector points want to align with each other and that can make it harder to follow the map. It's up to you where you choose to end your outline because obviously you're not going to keep going and draw the whole country. See how as this map starts moving away from the city I just sort of stop my line part way through the road. I think it looks cool when the ends are all uneven like that. You'll really come to appreciate the inner city grid with its straight lines as opposed to winding roads through hills but seriously just don't worry about being exact or you'll drive yourself crazy and it'll take forever. When you've done all the streets turn off the map images layer and survey your handiwork. We're going to tidy up these bits now where your lines overlap so zoom in and wherever you see an overlapping point pick it up and move it into place so that you can't see the end of it at all. Just start at the top and work methodically all the way down. This is kind of tedious but it's going to give the poster a more polished look overall so it's worth doing. When that's done it's time to add some finishing touches. I want this poster to match my Valencia one as much as possible so I'm putting a 0.2 point black border 40mm in from the edge all the way around the poster. Then I just copy the type layout over from my old one and adjusted it to say Wellington New Zealand instead. This font is called Strato and it's an awesome layered typeface so I'm going to leave a link to where you can buy that down below. I arranged my map so that it was kind of in the center of the space below the title but again it just doesn't have to be exact. I saved a copy and then before exporting it for print I deleted the map layer because I don't want that to be seen on the print and then I selected everything and outlined the stroke and the type. That's just a way of ensuring that nothing's going to go wrong when you send the file to the printer. Then save it as a PDF with crop marks and it's ready to send off to print. I got my poster printed at a local print shop so I'd suggest googling for professional digital printers in your area and the one that I used will be linked down below because I think they have other locations and they were really good. I asked for a matte stock because I really like the look of that and also it matches my Valencia poster so that way they can hang on my wall together as a set. I hope this tutorial was useful and that maybe it would have inspired you to make a matte poster of your own or to give someone else as a gift. I'd love to see pictures of your creations, so show me photos on Twitter and Instagram. This is my username, I'm at Charlie Prangley on pretty much every social media. Feel free to ask any questions you have about this process down below in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. 
Also, again, if you don't want to make your own map poster, you can buy these two here in my online store. And I still also have my limited edition notebook sets for sale, so check them out too. They'll be linked down below. Thanks for watching. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to hear more from me. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.